Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing ADMATH. ADMATH for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we finished question number 9 of exercise 9.4. And you know the topic of this exercise 9.4 is the graph of trigonometric functions. We did till question number 9 in last lecture. Today we are going to do question number 10. But before I start question number 10, I suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time, kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is admeth watch all previous lectures then you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number 10 question number 10 you can see on your screen fx is equals to a plus 3 cos bx for the domain of 0 to 360 degree the maximum value of f is 5 and the period of the function is 72 degree. Part A. Write down the value of A and the value of B. Very easy. First, you have to write the question. fx is equals to A plus 3 cos Bx. Actually, I did some work for you because graph is time consuming and in order to elaborate more accurately, I did some work for you students fx is equal to a plus 3 cos bx the maximum value of f is given 5 and the period of the function period of the function means an angle which the trigonomet trigonometric function is repeat itself so period is given 72 degree so part a is fx is equal to 3 cos bx plus a assign the name of the equation is equation 1 and write the general equation of cos x in your uh, which is in your book fx is equals to a cos b x plus c assign the name of this equation is equation number two now first write down the formula of the period of cos the formula of the period of cos function is 360 degree upon b here a small b is not present but here capital b is given so period is equal to 360 degrees upon B. See the right hand side, this one. So period is given 72 degrees, 72 degrees is equal to 360 degrees upon B. Shift B is on other side and 72 on and become the denominator. So 360 degrees upon 72 degrees is cancel out to give the answer is 5. Therefore, the value of capital, capital B is 5. This is the first requirement of the question. Now, in order to find the value of capital A in the equation, first we have to find the amplitude. So, if we compare equation number 1 and equation number 2, the amplitude represents the coefficient of trigonometric function. The coefficient of trigonometric function of equation number 1 cos bx, the coefficient of cos bx is 3. Therefore, the amplitude A is equals to 3. This is the amplitude. Okay. After finding the amplitude, you are able to find the value of capital A. What this capital A, I wrote uh, just below the equation number 1, the y shift. So, the y shift is given is A. So, how to find the value of y shift it's very easy just subtract the value of amplitude from the maximum value of the function the maximum value of the function given is 5 and the amplitude we have find 3 therefore the value of a is equals to 5 minus 3 2 hence the value of b is uh, 5 and the value of a is 2 what is the requirement of part b the requirement of part b write down the amplitude of f we have already find the amplitude of f uh, that is a is equals to 3 so i just wrote the answer b is equals to amplitude of f is equals to 3 
वॉट इज पार्ट सी इसके इज द ग्राफ ऑफ एफ वेरी इजी एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट सो फर्स्ट राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन विच इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री कॉज बी एक्स प्लस ए एंड नाउ पुट ऑल दोज वैल्यू विच वी हैव जस्ट फाउंड सो थ्री कॉज बी एक्स बी वी हैव फाउंड फाइव बी एक्स प्लस ए ए वी हैव फाउंड टू देर फॉर द इक्वेशन बिकम्स थ्री कॉज फाइव एक्स प्लस टू प्लस टू एंड नाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस फंक्शन इन ऑर्डर टू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस फंक्शन स्टूडेंट्स वी मस्ट मेक द टेबल हाउ टू मेक द टेबल टेक द इंटरवल्स जस्ट हाफ द पीरियड योर पीरियड इज सेवेंटी टू डिग्री डिग्रीज विच इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सेवेंटी टू डिग्रीज इज पीरियड half of the period is 36 degrees so take the interval of 36 degrees you will have a 100% accurate graph so i am taking 0 degrees 36 then 72 then 108 144 180 216 252 288 324 and 360 degrees so because the domain is given from 0 to 360 degrees and now Take the calculator. Write in your calculator three cos five into zero plus two, and press the equal to button. You will get five. Then three cos five into thirty six plus two. You will get minus one. Three cos five into seventy two plus two. You will get five. And so on. Three cos five into three twenty four plus two. You will get minus one. so you have to find each and every every value with the help of your calculator after make the table the last step which is very very important step is to draw the graph so first we have to make the x and y axis this is our x axis and this is our y axis okay take the interval 36 degrees x 0 if you take 4 square is 36 1 2 3 4 Two fifty two one two three four. Two eighty eight one two three four. Three twenty four one two three four. Three sixties. And now, the maximum value of the function is five. So I am taking one two three four. Two square is one. Then two. Then three, then four, then five. Minus one. So when x is zero, the y is five. When x is thirty-six, the y is minus one. When seventy-two, then five. When one zero eight, then minus one. When one forty four, then five. 
when 180 then minus 1 when 216 then 5 when 252 then minus 1 when 288 then 5 when 324 then minus 1 and when 360 the value is 5 it's a time to join all the points without scale The graph is not good. But the concept is 100% correct. Now it's your duty to draw the as good graph as possible i am expecting uh, accepting that this graph is not as good as possible this graph is not good as possible but because i am not good in drawing but you must have the concept so student this is the graph of 2 plus 3 cos 5 x and I am accepting that the graph is not good as to be but when you draw this graph with the help of pencil then your graph definitely must be very good actually digital pen is uh, always flickering that is why I am unable to draw the uh, good graph but the concept is 100 percent correct and the table is 100 percent correct okay students so this is our today's class where we did question number 10 of exercise 9.4 what next next is to draw the graph of sin x question number 11 but this question we will do in next lecture this exercise is going to be completed within two to three lecture so student if you are satisfying my videos kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can Okay students, good luck for next lecture.